Hey guys, Mike the Gaming Dad here and welcome back to the channel. Episode 8 of the Survivor Mode Let's Play um, and hopefully the uh, last episode before we uh, finally finish the uh, main questline guys. So yeah, re really excited to do this. Um, it is uh, Tuesday the 4th of April at the uh, time of filming this. Um, I hope everyone has had a good uh, weekend. Um, so yeah, let's uh, get into it. So we ended episode 7 um, up high Hrothgar, didn't we? We just completed um, the yeah the section where we basically have to try and find a come to an agreement between the Stormcloaks and the um, Imperials. So what we basically have to do now is um, oh yeah, kill Parthenax. Yeah, we, we've, we're not going to do that, are we? That's the uh, that says uh, Delphine uh, trying to muscle in as usual. Yeah. So what we're basically doing now is trapping Odaving and then we'll be flying off to uh, Skuldafen. So, um, yeah, there is a few things I would quite like to do as well um, in this episode. Um, so, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll go on a little bit of an adventure, guys. Um, so what I am going to do is, uh, let's just check our vitals first. I think we should be all right. We're a bit drained and peckish, but we're all good. Um, yeah, what I'm basically going to do is I am going to walk down uh, the 10,000 steps. I'll basically want to get back to Iverstead. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to walk back to uh, White's Run. Um, so the reason why I kind of want to do this journey is um, in the last episode, I spoke about um, sort of doing alchemy. And um, I couldn't remember at the time health potions like a, a health potion recipe i remembered when i was thinking about this the other day there's a really obvious one which is blue mountain flower and wheat um, i think it'd be good to make our own potions a for improving our alchemy but also so that um basically we've got potions for the final fight really because i was uh, i was struggling a little bit in that that um fight against um aldo and I, I pretty much ran out of everything um, and there's a lot of blue mountain flower on this route and then there's a lot of wheat when we get to white run so yeah i'd quite like to do that journey um we're also going to um just make a quick pit stop in windhelm just to start a quick quest there that'll get us some much better armor that i think we'll use for the rest of the uh, let's play um it also it's also quite fitting for the final battle with uh with um aldo and i think um, and then finally from there, what we'll do is we'll walk up here and we're going to go to the lighthouse because there's a perk that I want to pick up um, from the lighthouse that'll help us um, basically using restoration magic. It's a restoration magic perk um, if you're not aware of it. Um, yeah, then we'll head back to Dragon's Reach, probably do some quick levelling up of stuff, um, maybe get some restoration perks and then yeah, we'll be ready to uh, take on Alduin. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what we're going to do, guys. So yeah, let's uh, get cracking down the mountain. I was in a I was in a bit of a rush last week to get my um, my sort of twenty tips video done on Friday because I was actually going down to London this weekend. Um, so I've not I've been um, I've not actually been on my PC or even in the house. Um, my uh, uh, football team was playing down at Wembley on Sunday, so yeah, we had a, a few days away, which was quite nice. Um, we got the win as well. We uh, yeah won quite comfortably, which was uh, unexpected. So yeah, we had a we had a great few days in London. Um, yeah, beers after the game, and then went for a nice nice meal, and then woke up a little bit worse for wear on Monday. But yeah, sort of slowly slowly made our our way back home and then yeah back in work today so um yeah sort of rushed to get my video out on was it friday night i did it saturday maybe um just because i knew i was going away so um but yeah i've been thinking about uh pulling this video together because i kind of want to get to the end of the main quest line and then everyone can pick uh, what we do next that is burn He's a. Uh, I think he's had enough of Delphine, and he? he's like he's decided I'm 
I'm going. I'm. She can stay up the mountain. I've had enough of her. I don't blame you, Asburn. What time it is actually? 11:40 a.m. So it's still relatively early. What I'm also going to do as well is um, I'm probably going to I might switch swords with Lydia only because um, I kept the or should I keep this one for now for the fight with Alduin and then switch after I might do that actually basically um, it's going to be a while before we get this Arcane Blacksmith and I realised we're not going to be able to improve uh, this so the other sword actually does a little bit more damage but against Alduin I think we should probably keep this at least and then yeah do the switch after so we'll, yeah we'll do that uh, am I going the right way here yeah just want to check I'm not I'm not going back up the mountain now we are going the right way Uh, the Last of Us um, Let's Play. I'm all, I'm gonna start. Hopefully, start um, soon as well. Probably, I might actually give it a, a go again once I've done this and try and get episode one out. Um, it was a week ago today that I first tried. I have been sort of semi-testing it a little bit um, today, just very, very, very briefly, just to see if it kind of opens and it's stable. And it does seem a little bit better than. Uh, last week, like last last Tuesday, was just absolutely horrendous. Like it just wasn't playable at all. Well, it 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 probably was playable, but not for me in the sense that I've got to film at the same time. Like I can't I can't be dealing with like loading screens and lagging and just like graphics not loading and stuff. It had just been like it just wouldn't have looked professional at all. So. And that's kind of what I was experiencing. Like I could play it, but it, for some reason, it just wasn't. It just felt like it that it was taking up way too much, um, basically PC capabilities like VRAM and stuff. Um, and I, and my, like my PC is above the minimum requirements on pretty much everything. But it just, um, yeah, I, I don't think it was ready to release to be honest, but. Um, but yeah, it does seem a little bit more stable. They've released th and three hot pa uh, hot fixes now uh, patches. Um, the third one came out today, and they're releasing a patch on Friday. So I might try and film the let's play before then. But if not, if it's still a bit funny, I'll wait till that comes out. Right, we're down in Iverstead now, so. I can't remember if Ivis has got any wheat around, but if it does, we're going to nab it all. Uh, just to make some potions when we finally get to White Run. But yeah, we'll, uh, we'll keep our eye out for uh, mountain flowers as well. Oh, there is wheat here. Should we uh, nick this? Speaking to one of the pilgrims on the seven. I wonder how many vegetable suits we've got as well, actually. We've got four. And we've got leeks and tomatoes, so we need cabbages and potatoes, don't we? So we'll, we might grab a few of them as well. Which happens to be what they've got here, so... Uh, apologies. I'm just basically going to rob your farm. Just to grab a few bits, right, wheat, yes. I'm going to take all of your wheat and I do not feel an ounce of guilt. How many do we just pick up then, was it? Do you get two from them or do you just get one? I need to get one. Yeah, we'll see how many we can get.
that deer just like drowning itself? Oh, he's up, back up. What have we got here? None of them are blue. <laughs> bet, you'd, uh, bet you never thought you'd watch someone uh, play Skyrim looking for uh, blue mountain flowers, did you? What is that fighting over there? Is that a, a Spriggan and a Troll? No, a Spriggan and a Hargraven. Uh, that's a first. Look at them proper going at each other. Right, who's your money on? I'm going to go... Oh, it's, it's over already. Yeah, the uh, Spriggan one. Should we uh, take the Spriggan out? Oh, they always like heal themselves, don't they? It's a bit of a uh, pain for that. <laughs> there we go. I do need to get some arrows as well, don't we? That's uh, I need to not forget that. Um, because once we are in, uh, where is it not, uh, Skuldafen, yeah, once we're in Skuldafen and beyond, we won't be able to get any. We may have to actually buy some. Uh, use our sword for a bit and conserve the arrows. I'm hoping my uh, voice is alright by the way, I um, it might sound a little bit deeper than it normally does, I mean it's deep anyway, but yeah, I, I woke up on, well Sunday night, I kind of lost my voice completely because obviously uh, they had been at the the, uh, the game, and then on Monday morning I woke up and it was like so hoarse. Not seen many flowers yet, just red ones. There's a lot of red ones here. And there's definitely blue ones, a lot of blue ones on the other side. Maybe it's just this side of the uh, mountains. Got some more pinks there. You know, we'll keep looking. It might be better actually if we do try and look in third person only because we can kind of get more of a wide angle, don't you? And then we'll switch back. Uh, we switch the view back later. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Should I leave them for the health regen for later? No, we'll have one now. Thinking whether it might be better served leaving leaving them, but I guess if we make more, it's as broad as it's long, really, isn't it? We always see this rabbit here, don't we? It's like every episode. Now berries will grab them. Yeah, I want to go to the um, the lighthouse. And then back to White Run. So as I mentioned, looking at um, restoration perks, it's it's. I was kind of thinking about the the fight with Alduin, and there was a lot of times when I was having to like try and obviously restore my health, and 
there was a few times where I kind of didn't have magic and I didn't have potions and it, it could have been potentially a bit of a sticky situation so the the perk that I'm hoping to pick up in this episode before we go to Skuldafen is where are we, where's restoration I want us to try and get well there's three in total, we're not going to get them all in this one but I spoke about this in the video I produced but uh, recovery is, is useful, it will be useful for me regen is the one I'm after um, and then eventually respite, they're, up, they're like if you use restoration magic they're pretty much sort of essential those three I think especially the last two I guess magic re re uh, regeneration you can kind of get around that through cost reduction but yeah, the, first, the last two are very useful. Ah, right, here's one finally. And another. Hopefully we'll be able to uh, make quite a few potions. I find it crazy that it's been like 12 years playing this game and I'm still not, I'm still not like, uh, what's the word, clamouring for mods. And obviously for some people like mods are what have kept this game going for so long. I still just like love the, <laughs> love the vanilla Skyrim. Um, but there is one mod that I would be interested in if... I do eventually give it a go and that is the one where you can rebuild Helgen like I, I wish they'd introduce this into the game like basically because I mean this settlement it just stays like this forever nothing ever happens I quite like the idea of sort of building it up again slowly I've never played the mod I don't actually know whether that is what you do I've just heard that there is a mod that you do it so that is probably one that I would check out getting quite a lot of flowers here which is good I did, I did think there was I wasn't sure how many there were but I, did, I definitely remember picking them up on the run into Riverwood it's like when you come out of that cave right at the start of the game I just remember there just being loads of mountain flowers oh is this that orc still is he just going to be there forever I think we it was a, quite a few episodes ago uh, episodes um, ago now, sorry, that we uh, encountered him, didn't we? The old orc. I feel like we've come, uh, come the wrong way here, haven't I? I? need to go around the path. Make sure we don't miss anything. Should grab all the flowers, really. I don't know why I'm just specifically excluding red and pink. But it is blue that I'm after. I want to pick everything up, though, because I don't want to, like, knacker our carry away, but... we are going off to do some alka we may we may as well throw a few other things together as well see what we make because it uh, it all counts in the long run especially leveling up
So that hurt. Fatigue, yeah, tired. Tiredness is now kicking in. What time is it? 4 p.m. Oh, we, yeah, we'll have a, we'll have a sleep in White Run before we set off to Windhelm. Good at what you're doing down here. A fine day to you, friend. May you die with a sword in your hands. I feel like we uh, picked up quite a lot there. What have we got? Um, I'm not even on the right one here. I might see ingredients if we want. Blue mountain flower. We've got 20 already. Wow. It will just. While there's a pot here, we'll just make those soups. Oh, we can make a hot one, that's good. There we go. Wonder if uh, Lucan has got any wheat. It means we'll just so double much to check. Have a claw back so where it belongs. You and me. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them yeah, trash. No, he's not. He can have them, definitely. I feel like we don't really need this leather armor. I kind of made it, but we never really use it, do we? Not really a lot we can uh, get rid of. All right then. managed to um yeah we traveled down early on sunday morning uh, to london i drove down um we were staying we were staying outside london so we kind of dropped that dropped the cars off and uh checked into the hotel and that and then went in got the train in but then about an hour after getting into london i managed to break my phone uh so I, had, I was pretty much like I had no I had no access to anything. Luckily, my brother was with us, so he could like take pictures of the day and like keep me up to date with what was going on. And if anyone needed me, they could kind of get hold of him. But uh, yeah, it was not it was not ideal. I got back sort of late yesterday, and then responded to like all like comments and well, caught up on everything really. But then I was able to like catch up on all the comments and stuff for this. I couldn't believe it when it happened. I, I don't know what I'd done to it. I, I didn't like drop it or smash it or anything. I th it was it was the weirdest thing. Like literally, I don't know how this happened. Um, it was in my pocket and we were walking. We were walking for probably like a good half an hour. I don't know whether it had like, it must have been trying my password, but it managed to lock itself. You know, like if you try your password too many times and your phone locks, well, it locked itself for 1400 minutes. And I'm I'm not joking. Like literally, it was locked for fourteen hundred minutes. I couldn't even turn it off, uh, and it had just been in my pocket. So I was like, "Okay, uh, I'll just turn it off then." No, it won't let me. So I, I just had no phone. It's lucky I wasn't on my own, um, and I didn't. I like luckily I didn't need my my phone for like um, satellite navigation or anything. Take a look. Like I knew my way back, so. He hasn't got any wheat either. Alright, we'll head inside. In fact, no, actually, what we're doing, we'll head inside. We need to pick the wheat up. 
Look, that's me not paying attention. Right, which farm is it that's got it? Is it the one? I think it's the one that's around the corner, actually, isn't it? Is it this one up here? The uh, Battleborn farm. Yeah, this one. I think that is... Is that all of it or is there a bit more that's just down here? This farm have some. Oh, there's some more over here. I used to gather this wheat, by the way, um, when I used to make uh, the. Is it fortify? I can't. It might be fortify carry away. I can't remember the, the, what the potion does now, but. Wheat, creep cluster and giant's toe makes like a ridiculous potion in terms of like value so it levels up. Um, I think I might have showed it earlier on in this let's play. It's, it's not an easy potion to make because giant's toes are like quite difficult to get but when I was, before I knew about some other potions that was the one that I used to try and do to level alchemy. Um, so I used to always come and raid this farm for wheat. Like wheat and creep cluster are so easy to get. Uh, but then obviously I'll, there's a lot better, easier uh, potions to do to level alchemy than, than that one. Doing it legitimately anyway, I guess you could... You could um, you could duplicate giant's toes, couldn't you? white run let's do this we just yeah she should still be open shouldn't she arcadia she tends to stay stay open a little bit um a little bit later what have we got 22 of those and 18 wheat so we don't need any more blue mountain flowers Should probably sleep and then do this so we get the perk. not the perk, yeah the the resting bonus so we'll do that first actually if it's work you're looking for Hulda's the one to talk to right, let's sleep till the morning so that'll be a while it's gonna be quite a while isn't it we need, we need her to be open, which is like after 8, I think. So we'll sleep for 14 hours. I wish I could sleep for 14 hours. I don't think I can anymore. I'm used to being woken up by the kids that much that I think, yeah, it just doesn't happen. <laughs> Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. 
If not, let me know. She might you have some wheat, so ah, we'll just so check. You're an alchemist, then. She's got a blue mountain flower. Yeah, she has four wheat. Does that mean we've got an even number? 22. And 22, how <laughs> would you look at that? It's almost like I planned it. Right, blue mountain flower. And wheat. Elf is increased by 18 points for 60 seconds and restore 22 points of health. There we go. Yeah, right, so let's just fly through the rest of this. Dragon's tongue, we've got loads of that. If there's anything I can help you. What's my illusion we do not need? Yeah, no, we don't use our crabs. We are keeping the crabs. We are, we are keeping the crabs. I never said that before. Sorry if this isn't easy to follow, by the way. I'm not doing this to, what's that, resist frost. That might be useful, actually, because we'll make a few of them because sometimes we may need them. We don't need that, actually. Um, yeah, I'm not, um, I'm not doing this to kind of show you anything. I'm just doing it to try and get through the potions that we've got. And hopefully learn a few things along the way. Right, we want to keep the samuro, we want to keep the salt pile, and we want to keep the crabs. Resist fire. There we go. Done. And we've we've leveled up, haven't we? But we've not leveled up, so we will have a perk point, which is good, but we've not leveled up restoration, so we need to get restoration up to 30, don't we? Oh no, we don't. 20 is enough. So that's the first one we'll get. Oh, so that's good. So we just need we just need to sleep. So we'll do we'll we'll pick that up later. Take a look. Yeah, right, so I didn't check if she had fire salts actually. I don't think she will because we picked them up earlier, didn't we? Uh, oh, she does have, have salt. Um, Alright, we'll sell what we don't need, which is heavy armor, uh, illusion. We don't really need that. Quite potion heavy, aren't we here? I think we're probably being a bit too. <laughs> we're probably being a bit too overzealous with some of these, so I'm gonna. I'm not gonna keep all of them. I'll just keep a couple. And that'll be it. Come back anytime. What's our carry weight? Like 190. So we are carrying quite a lot, aren't we? Oh, we've got this. It's them, that's why. No remedy. I could have given them to Lydia. How can I serve you, my thing? She has already got four. I wonder if she can take any more. No. Lead on. Uh, we'll try to sell them then, because. Take a good look around. I'm the sure you'll find armor that I'm picking up that yeah. I want to try and pick Trinkets, up is dragon, so we're not we don't need to actually make it now. I was keeping all this the those just in case we ever got to smithing a hundred on the let's play. Probably at like episode hundred if I'm still doing it. 
Um, and but yeah, we don't really we're not really going to need them. Do come back. So that's the first stage done. Get some more potions. Success. Tick. So now we're going to head over to Windhelm. And then we'll do this via the carriage. I feel like my characters are running quite slow. I don't know if there's something capitals. wrong with the animation. Where do you want to go? Uh, take me to Windhelm, please. Climb and back, and we'll be off. Oh, there once was a hero named Rack, not the red who came riding to right run from. My carriage is the safest. <clears throat> so knowing that you're always that you're always like super super. Um, hungry when you get off the carriage. What time is it? 6 pm. So what we want to do here is uh, read a book that is in Candlehearth Hall. This one's a favourite of mine. A legend we all know and love. Which is just here, The Crimson Our Dirks, hero. Volume 4. I think I mentioned this actually in my last um, episode and then just, yeah, never read it. So you read that and it starts the quest, Tilted Scales. Investigate your Grimm's Overlook. Yeah, I'll just check where that is actually because I'm saying we'll pick this armor up and watch it'll be like somewhere completely remote. Yeah, we've got nothing else active, do we now? Where is it? Oh, it's actually it's on our way. Oh, that's perfect. That is literally the route we're going because the lighthouse is somewhere. Is the lighthouse there? Is it that little... That thing there? So that's actually... Uh, yeah, that couldn't have uh, gone any better, really. Get ready to uh, use your sword, Lydia. We're probably going to need you to help kill this foe. Use some of these potions that we've that are burning a hole in our uh, in our backpack. This, that's the good thing about that respite perk um, that I shot showed. If you if your magicka regenerates quick enough, or you manage to get restoration down to um, basically get it to 100% magic cost reduction you effectively have unlimited stamina as well as unlimited restoration magic because what the spell what the perk does is it means you also um, oh great dark brotherhood assassin I'll just deal with this person quickly
uh, the black sacrament has been performed so somebody wants us dead um, you never uh, do you ever find out who actually that is or this is just a bit of a random uh, event isn't it yeah, but we'll uh, we'll grab all this stuff could sell that actually that's worth quite a lot of gold uh, yeah what was I saying um, <clears throat> yeah, if you you are ba you basically end up with unlimited stamina because you can cast restoration magic indefinitely, and you'll you'll always be able to replenish it. Uh, your stamina, that is, which which actually then means if you think about it, you don't need to put any points in stamina. It's in points when you level up, um, so you can put them elsewhere, like in health. And it also means that you um, you can always ru you, you can run anywhere. So it's um, yeah, re a really really strong uh, perk to get in the right situation. If you obviously if you don't use restoration magic or like you're a full on warrior, you you never need it. But I feel like for a lot of builds, it is a, a really good one to get. Just there that we're heading, isn't it? Once I've done this, we'll carry our torch to the next place just to try and slow the effect of the cold because it, it is starting to drain our health already. Well, at least we, do, we have that hot soup that we can eat now. Who's this? Khajiit. We are uh, getting our fair share of attacks, aren't we? The, uh, what are they called? That's one of the. Um, is it the Seducers camp? <laughs> we are quite cold now. How do I get up there? Where is it? I'm going there, isn't it? Have I come the right way? Seduces bandit leader. No, we don't want to do that. Thank you. We might have to have uh, our hot soup. Do I want to camp? Actually, that might be a. Don't think I've got any more campsites to a. Uh... It's quite hard. I do think I might need Lydia. Got him. Pick up the overlook key. We got here steel. Here we are, studded dragon scale armor. This is what we were after. It's a uh, yeah, quite a quite an upgrade. <laughs> going from uh, furs to this, but I feel like it's uh, felt quite fitting to get it now before we're going to take Alduin on. I 
Oh wow, we've got picking up quite a lot of stuff here that we can sell. And yeah, that's that is basically that little quest. You can warm up in here, which is good. Yeah, right, so yeah, so we have we are wearing armor that has got a rating of one four four and a warmth rating of one five six, and this has the same warmth rating but an armor rating of two one six. So it's what was it? Yeah, it's like over seventy points better. Than our superior fur. Like we won't be able to upgrade this for a while. So at some point. I'm not going to get rid of that. Because at some point if we ever make this legendary. It may be that it might be that this actually ends up better. Until we can like properly upgrade this and everything. But we can upgrade this a little bit can't we. We just can't um, do the. Um, get the extra points from having the, uh, the perk. But yeah I feel like uh, this is. It looks pretty awesome, doesn't it? What do you reckon, Lydia? Are we uh, ready to take on uh, Alduin now? I guess we look we look the part now, rather than someone who's been uh, dragged off the street. It kind of doesn't suit our backpack now, now though, does it? So now we we basically want to head. It's like I want to say it's like here. I'm wondering if we go through the wayward pass and then across. Is that the best way to go rather than all the way round? Maybe it is. We'll try that. I'm hoping the uh, mammoth's not here. Uh, the aggressive one that attacked us last time. Who's this? I'm warning you, back off. Is that a hunter? What is it about every uh, NPC that is on this wayward pass and aggression? I just don't feel like it's needed. I will hug the this western edge now because I think ah yeah there's a lighthouse in the distance, perfect. So we just need to make it across the ice plains here. I can see a few wolves. Hopefully, there are no snow bears only because they are quite nasty. Uh, snow bears, snow saber cats, and ice wolves are all a little bit more dangerous, aren't they, than the uh, the normal variants? Did we manage to get around the wolves? Yeah, we have.
Uh, this this is actually one of my favourite sort of standalone quests. This I think the storyline for this is one of the better the better written ones. It's really sad. Um, I put it in my a tragic story video if you've not watched it, um, where I cover off five um, five basically the the sad saddest stories in Skyrim, and then five like little sad easter eggs you can find uh, yeah I think this is probably up there with, with probably the the most tragic in the game so let's uh, get in and have a look what's going on frost flow lighthouse oh Lydia what are you doing uh, Lydia's broken guys She's on a uh, invisible treadmill. Still here. <laughs> Let's get going then. Okay. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, when you enter here, you see this Lydia. Oh, right, Lydia, you are putting me off here. Let's just try reset her. A cave. Wonder what's inside. Oh, what has happened here? Oh no. I've got your back. You lead, I'll follow. Lydia is broken. Okay, this is a... Uh... Ah, oh, right, we've managed to reset her. Honestly, playing Skyrim without the unofficial patch is... I, I always play unmodded, but yeah, it can be a bit interesting. Um, yeah, so you get this little notification now when you come in here, find the source of the murders in Frostflow Lighthouse. There is a, a red guard woman here with an axe in her belly, Ramati, and a dead uh, chorus. Uh, yeah, quite a nasty uh, scene. So I think she's got a journal as well. So yeah, Hab's journal. Uh, so I won't read all of this, but basically the... Um, the families come over here from Hammerfell. It's a wife, a husband, and two children. Um, the husband and the wife are sort of ready to settle down um, and sort of retire, whereas the kids are like bored here. Um, basically, the the children or one of the children keeps hearing that noise that you can probably hear the scuttling in the cellar um, I think it's the girl the boy is like desperate to get away from here he's like ready to run away and like bored out of his mind um, you kind of learn this the story as as you kind of progress through each each of the journals but yeah what um, what bif the, what happens to the family is, is pretty horrendous um, here's another journal here. Yeah, I recommend watching the video if you uh, want to. Um, if you want to kind of learn a bit more about this quest, I cover it in like all the detail and I read all the notes. But in here, there's a letter, Manny's letter, um, and this is addressed to his sister. This is from the brother, saying basically he's he's um, he's gonna run away. Um, and do you want to kind of come with me now as your chance sort of thing so I might take this bread actually because I think someone mentioned in the last in the comments of the last video bread bread is it bread butter is it bread butter and garlic make garlic bread and garlic bread cures diseases randomly <laughs> which is interesting so yeah I'm going to take that bread and we might make some of that later um, but yeah, I love I love the way this sort of story slowly pans out as you kind of look around and discover everything. I didn't mean to pick them up. Uh, and then yeah, you've got another journal here, which is um, the oh, wrong button. Uh, the wife's journal which yeah as I say this, that's kind of like the base of the story the 
they've moved over here or the children aren't happy the parents are but the girls hearing noises in the cellar right, so the upstairs is currently locked still I think we do get a key later or do we get the key here it's the key in this urn I think the key's in this urn isn't it yeah oh this is the cellar key sorry there's one of the uh, jar bugs there Yeah, so this unlocks the cellar. And you kind of... Yeah, the blood kind of continues. I stepped on a trap there that was left for the uh, chorus. Oh, here they are. Here's the, the, uh, the source of the... The source of the, the noise in the cellar. And then, uh, yeah, you. This was the cellar that the the boy was coming down to, ready to sort of pack his things to kind of get out. Um, when you come down here, you discover this massive hole in the wall, um, which is obviously where the uh, Falma have kind of broken through, and this takes you to the Frost Float Abyss. Um, yeah, and as you come into here, you kind of spot, spot the blood straight away. Oh, there's a chorus there. We'll uh, just deal with that. Oh, great, we've hit that basket. Brilliant. Lydia, kill this thing. Lydia. I feel like we've lost Lydia. Let's deal with this uh, Falmer and then we will try and find Lydia. Um, yeah, in this room. Um, normally his body's here, but He's up here for some reason. Uh, this is, uh, yeah, this is Manny, the son, who, yeah, I'm, I'm assuming he came down into the cellar to get his things and maybe got ambushed or found the hole and sort of mistakenly walked in here. But yeah, he's, he's unfortunately met his end. Uh, I'm going to, I'm just going to head back up to see where Lydia is. Oh, there she is. Right, what? Right, come on, Lydia. Down down into the abyss. I'm going to need you for this bit. Right, yeah. She's she's here. We're having a major Lydia issues in this uh, episode. things. I think glowing mushrooms actually, uh, do they 
uh, bring your health back. I think you can make, you can include, can you do, is it blue mountain flower and glowing mushrooms or wheat and glowing mushrooms and that'll, that's also a good potion, a uh, health potion. I think it is, but, no, <laughs> I knew, uh, I knew Lydia was going to do that then, I'd, I kind of jumped over that trap and then I thought, any second now, it's going to go off. Got some uh, frostbite spiders here. Another, another Falmer on guard duty. I'm gonna probably run out of arrows here, but we'll um, we'll definitely pick some up in White Run. little is that a chorus yeah it's a chorus we'll take it out Lydia would you mind dealing with that chorus but yeah in here and I'll just turn around in case it tries to ambush me you find the uh, unfortunate body of the third um, of the family members, this is the daughter Sudi or Sudi, uh, along with two notes. So the scrawled page basically details that she's like brought down here. Um, the father came down to look for the to look for them, um, but he got captured as well. And uh, yeah, he's basically got a fever and is unwell, and she's like she doesn't know where her, her mum and brother are. And then the bloodstained note talks about how that they took him sort of deeper down into the depths along with like some others that they'd brought down. Um, and then you kind of hear like screams and stuff and she, yeah, the result of it is she basically takes her own life with this uh, knife here. So yeah, uh, very, uh, very tragic story. is going to get more and more dangerous the further into this we get by the way so what I might do actually is I might quick save soon just in case I die I could use farmer hours actually but they're not very good are they to do that. Kind of giving my uh, position away. Lydia, get down there and kill it.
Yeah, I'll just uh, I'll just save here in case we die. And we'll do a we'll do a, a full save actually. There we go. Make sure we don't accidentally lose Lydia. Because we are going to need you. Come on. No. Down. Down here. Still stood up there. kind of see all the eggs and stuff that are down here it's like they're almost like breeding these things and then like feeding them it is uh, quite nasty Shout Lydia off like Boof! Lydia move. <laughs> I don't want to like kill her. She's been a bit of a wimp. those three done but I think right she's finally come down like are you like scared of these things or something you thought you'd stay up there the uh, whole time I think there's hunters a little bit further in I think in these things here Ah, oh, the hunters aren't they? They kind of burst out of them Hoping we can sneak past Come on Lydia Wonderful, we have a, a few more 
to deal with. It will be uh, it will be worth it this quest when we do it. Which one should we go for first? Maybe this one. save here again just over the one that we've done I'm only doing this because this quest is probably the first one where I'm thinking there's a high chance we could actually die here because the hunters especially are quite nasty Constantly on like the Lydia watch. Oh, there's a chorus here. Brilliant. Oh, now under Hunter. Not what we needed. Um, right. Potions. I feel like we've managed to get through most of this unscathed, which is good. is the main problem here. So we can get rid of this chorus, which we have done. We should hopefully <laughs> run around this pillar. The hydrant hopefully Lydia kills it. Giant ones found me. I did not want to. Uh, I did not think we were going to. Basically, um, when you get further in, you find a giant chorus. I didn't think it was going to spot us already and corner us in here. I kind of need Lydia to be on the ground with me because now we've got three of them to uh, try and kill. Right, we take our magicka. And our stamina. And then we're gonna have to probably make a run for it, I think. Now we've got the hunters down. We've got two choruses on us. <laughs> We're just going to have to smash our potions out with trying to survive. Right, if we run this way. Not yet, you see it stood over here on this, basically. Do we have any more magicka potions? No, we don't do it. one of them coming. 
feel like my I feel like my health is still draining. Am I am I, am I affected by poison? I'm not poisoned. for us, let's dance. Well, that's one of them done. Here, look at the size of that thing. Where is he hiding? Oh, he's all the way in there. I bet he's fighting Lydia, isn't he? Oh, here he comes. Abort, abort. <laughs> Did not mean to press that. Come on, Lydia, we are so close. Done. I feel like that was a quite a hairy uh, fight. <laughs> And we're glad we made all them potions. We've, we 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 smashed through quite a few of them, didn't we? I feel like I uh, may have needed a few more, but is that Lydia up there? Why is she still? She really doesn't like the chorus, does she? Um, yeah, this giant chorus is the source. Of this family's issues um, and yeah when you check it you find this uh, the aptly named Habs remains the uh, the father which completes the I was gonna say completes the set then but that's actually quite that's quite grim isn't it yeah the fourth and final family member is the father which we uh yeah, we find his skull, which is, yeah, I think this is the probably the most heartbreaking story in, uh, in Skyrim, at least like a standalone quest. Uh, but if you have read the. Uh, the journals properly um, you'll you'll um, I think it's the mother's one potentially or the father's one you find out that his Hab's wishes were to be to have his ashes put in the um, actually we'll stand by that fire and warm up have his ashes put in the lighthouse the top of the lighthouse so that's basically what we're going to go do now when I've uh, warmed up. Picking up a lot of stuff. We're gonna have a lot of, uh, lot of stuff to sell out when we get back to uh, Whiterun. Thank you. 
did uh, Lydia didn't come back, did she? When we uh, came up through back into the lighthouse, there's, there's something weird going on with Lydia. Um, right, so yeah, we're gonna go out up onto the uh, lighthouse top now. There she is, she's back again. Flaky Lydia. Uh, and yeah, we'll open up, see what's in this chest. Uh, gall. No, we don't want the gauntlets. Um, but yeah, if you basically come up here to the lighthouse brazier, we can now place his remains in there and we get the sailor's repose. Which if we just check, our healing spells now cure 10% more. So it's a small um, benefit, but it, it will help. But you've seen the amount of times we we're needing to use uh, healing magic um, and with that we can now we're gonna head back down to uh, white run yeah let me know um let me know your thoughts on this uh, particular quest like I say I think it's probably it's definitely in my top Five, I'd say, just for the just for the storyline, how it kind of slowly pro uh, plays out. They are a bit of a problem on um, survival mode, chorus, because your health, because the your the generation, or lack of generation, I should say. Uh, lack of regeneration. Get a, you get a couple of poison stacks, and you like you know about it. struggled to do that quest actually if we'd not even picked up this dragon armor so I'm quite glad that we did that first because we were uh, taking we took some pretty meaty hits this is one of the uh, places you come to as part of the companions quest isn't it Fort, Fort Fellhammer probably get out of uh, third person now go back into first for a bit just a bandit if you were to turn up again Lydia
deal with those ones, Lydia. Or not. Time is it 8 a.m. Yeah, we are gonna need to sleep out where we are quite tired. You can see White Run now finally. Or uh Dragon's Reach, I should say. I wish our character would stop uh, panting. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's like constant. Probably the amount of uh, running around we've done. Oh, it's the uh, Jester. He's going to want help with his wheel, isn't he? I think we're going to uh, we'll ignore him for now. I am not interested in any uh, random uh, Dark Brother requests. We're nearly there, Lydia. Not far to go now. I've seen a lot of uh, frostbite spiders around. There's another one there. Bloody massive, aren't they? Imagine if that if they were that big in real life, like I don't think I'd ever go outside. Mm, wonderful bandits. See you later. I'm gonna kill both of these, not just one of them. Give me your arrows. Oh, he's only got one steel arrow. Never mind. Got anything worthwhile taking? There is, I think. Well, we've already been to this camp, haven't we? Tomatoes, lavender.
Uh, right. First stop. Let's get our arrow situation corrected. Uh, El Rindia. Ah, hello, my no. Take a look. Right. What have you got that we can nab? Steel arrow seventy four. We want six gold for them. Times are hard. Times are hard. I feel like we don't really need this leather armor. We can get rid of that. Can't see us ever using that anymore. There's not a lot that we can sell to him. Uh, right, go on then. We will, we will take your steel arrows. How many do we want? We'll have them all. 444 gold. I guess it's not that much. Especially not in comparison to what we're going to sell. Uh, right, from here, let's go up to Dragon's Reach. Uh, disenchant what we can. Then we can sell what we don't disenchant. Buy any soul gems that we need. Uh, and then we'll sleep, level up. And then finally sell anything left to the, um, <clears throat> what's he called? Bellathor. And then we will be on our way. Divine smile on you, friend. Right, we can disenchant that. And that. Yeah, we'll do all of this. Right, Farangar. How many gems do we have? Two grand. That is it. And we are gonna need. We are definitely gonna need some. So and I watch. It's got no charge. So. Come to drag spells and incantations for those with the talent to guess. Right. You look like a wizard that needs some staffs and uh, a few rings, definitely. What can we buy a few? Does he want any books? We're probably never going to use that, are we? Yeah, that'll do. Now we've, le we've at least got some that we can use. You know, if you've got the aptitude, you should join the Mages College in no time. Right, we'll go sleep now and level up. We'll rule Skyrim Just check we don't have any uh, ill effects other than being tired. This is a local Take favorite. A seat, and get the cold down. If it's work you're looking for, Ragnar the Red. Hulda's the one to talk oh, to. There once was a hero. Yeah, so what we can grab now, we'll put a point into health. Oh, we've got two points. That's quite good. We'll put one into magic as well. So the first one we want to do is I'm going to do regeneration. Um, and I'm also going to now do recovery, so we get extra magicka. Um, so, yeah, that'll mean that we should hopefully don't we're not going to be as reliant on potions. What are you, what are you doing? What are you looking at? Hmm. 
But then he went quiet, did Ragnar rest? If it's work, you look shield for? made it. Matilda Hold was dead. To talk to you. Let me know if you see anything you like. Every Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Right, what can we sell to you, Pelothor? So anything we've got left. We're never going to use them, they can go. Oh, he's not even got any gold. Maybe we need to... I wonder if he's got any soul gems worth picking up. No, he doesn't. We might have to um Do come back. We might have to try selling some of the other shops. I forgot we'd sold the um the dragon uh, scales and bones to him, didn't we? I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. But we'll try it's Arcadia. Like what do you need, my take a look? Is there anything we have that you want? We don't really need that. I think that's the only one we picked up, isn't it, that we don't really need. Come back any time if you need a remedy. Right. We'll just try the blacksmith. And then we'll go up to Dragon's Reach. Got some good people. Take a look. Uh, nothing there. There's not going to be anything there, is there? Just wolf pelts. Not a lot. Alright, uh, what's our carry weight at? 124, so we're all good. So we've got our arrows, we've got our new armor we wanted. We've got the perks I wanted. So I think we are. Yeah, let's go uh, try and take on Alduin. High and mighty in these halls, except in the yard. And don't you forget. We're ready, Dragonborn. Just say the word. Uh, are you ready to spring the trap on the dragon? He just told us he's ready, didn't he? As I promised, my men stand ready. The great chains are oiled. We wait on your word. Uh, I'm ready. Let's go trap a dragon. My men know what to do. Make sure you do your part. I'm putting my city in your hands. Uh, no pressure then. <laughs> call Odeving. Oh yeah, we need to call Odeving first, don't we? Can just do Dragon Rend. Dawn Guard, vampire hunters or something. The old fort near Riften. <laughs> you do have a plan for luring a dragon here, yeah? Called him. This dragon of yours. We're ready. It's a pretty awesome views from up here, don't you? Shame that the map doesn't like properly like load. It's like mm -hmm. details. Right, coming out of thing. Let's get this over with. Come 
on him, Mr. Dragon. Where's he going? Oh, here he comes. Let him come in. Here he comes. Now that he's out of the way. Liddy's like just like hitting him in the legs. That's right. Where is he hiding? Renik Vaza. An apt phrase. Alduin Boval. One reason I came to your call was to test your thorn for myself. Many of us have begun to question Alduin's lordship, whether his thorn was truly the strongest. Among ourselves, of course. Muni Mae. None were yet ready to openly defy him. You were telling me where to find Alduin. Once Lord Croesus, innumerable pardons, I digress. He has traveled to Sovngarde to regain his strength, devouring the Silesur, the souls of the mortal dead, a privilege he jealously guards. His door to Sovngarde is at Skuldafin, one of his ancient fanes high in the eastern mountains. Binduran pa ok midove navarantil. I surely do not need to warn you that all his remaining strength is marshaled there. Zulost ofan hinlan. Now that I have answered your question, you will allow me to go free? Um, do you promise to serve me, or not until Alduin is defeated? Uh, we'll go with the first one. Um? Serve you? No. Need it. If and when you defeat Alduin, I will reconsider. Hmm, Grossis. There is one detail about Skaldafen I neglected to mention. Tell me what you know then. Only this. You have the Thurm of Adova, but without the wings of one, you will never set foot in Skaldafen. Of course, I could fly you there, but not while imprisoned like this. Um, right, you can carry on this conversation or we're just going to try and skip that because they do like a, a good chat, don't they, the dragons? So fine, I'll uh, set you free if you promise to take me to Skuldafen. Onikan Korav Gain Mirad. It is wise to recognize when you only have one choice. And you can trust me. Zuni Tarudis. Alduin has proven himself unworthy to rule. I go my own way now. Free me, and I will carry you to Skaldafin. Right, we're gonna go uh, tell this guard he needs to let him go now. Wait, I know you. You're making a mistake. 
That's no mistake. Oh, You're what a is this? Man, and it's time to pay for your crimes. Um, oh, I, I have a got. I have a bounty. Uh, I'm the Jarl staying. I demand you let me go at once. Do not forgive me, Faye. Come on, we ain't got time for this. You. We'll look the other way this time. But even the Jarl's influence has its limits. Be more careful. Uh, yeah, wise, wise choice. Something to tell the grandkids, eh? Uh, right. Yeah, open the trap. You sure about that? You want to let that dragon loose after all the trouble to catch him in there? Yes, I'm sure. Your funeral. Someone else is going to have to help you get him back in there again. I can't believe that a guard was like uh, going at me over a five gold bounty. <laughs> Are you ready to see the world as only a Dover can? Uh, yes, I am. Saran Uth, I await your command as promised. Are you ready to see the world as only a Dover can? Uh, I am ready. Take me to Skull Daffin. Zuk Brit of I warn you, once you've flown the skies of Kaisal, your envy of the Dove will only increase. Amativ, Mu Bokotin Stinselok. And, uh, yeah, off we go on the back of a uh, dragon. Is as far as I can take you. Grief both Akrin. I will look for you. Yeah, and that is it. We are now on our own. Uh, Lord, pray for us. <laughs> We've got a lot of uh, driver to deal with here as well, so. Not to mention a, a few dragons. Just, uh, I definitely just used Dragon Run, didn't I? I'm not Dragon, it looked like it didn't work. of um, resist fire. the dragon. over there. Right, come on, Mr. Dragon. You're going to land. Oh, 
has landed up there. And that's not why, where I wanted him to go. first of many we're going to have to face. Second one. I may have uh, not picked up as many um, soldiers as we probably needed to, thinking about it, but it should be alright. One for this fire. Got any shouts worth unlocking actually? I don't think we do, do we? We haven't really been collecting them. I can't remember what is in there, but I'm gonna push on to try and get this done. a bit further up isn't it we need to go through here this is it I feel like I should favourite some of these shouts that I use more often
meant to hit both of them then, but I uh, missed. And we need to warm up, don't we, as well. Go back to the fire. Hopefully they follow me, I can fight them down here. Should have shouted both of them off the um, off the cliff, shouldn't I? Would have been clever. Ooh, didn't mean to uh, pick his uh, weapon up. Where's he gone? The other one. Oh, he's down there. I could just ignore him. Let it warm up, and then we'll carry on. Oh, he's coming up. He's uh wants a bit, wants some more. I thought my plan to um, get a lot of potions was a good one until the point that I used most of them before I even got to Alduin. Uh, but we, uh, we progress on. Hopefully we'll uh, pick a few potions up in here. Yeah. Ooh, nice little dodge there. Keep uh, picking up the Nordic weapons, and I do not want them. That was another one. Gold in these. Gold is good. Uh, potions would be better. Even uh, magic potions would be good.
I'm deliberately um, not charging my weapon here because I want to save the charges for Alduin. I'm hoping I'm going to be able to get past the Dragon Priest at the end. I remember he's, uh, he's quite nasty, isn't he? the Nordic puzzle here. So we've basically got two doors and we've got a snake here and a snake there. Does that mean that this corresponds to snake? I'm assuming. We'll, uh, we'll go with that. Then we've got whale here. I'm assuming is that also a whale. And then the middle one, if that is correct. Although we have got, oh, the middle one may be which one you do corresponds to which door opens. So if we try this, does this open the right door? Yes, it does. Scroll of Guardian Circle. That might come in handy. Would I will? Yeah, that could actually come in handy if we need it, especially against the dragon priest. So now, if we do snake, now we can get out this way. and use up my iron arrows actually save the better ones for save the better ones for Alduin who have we got here Mr. Restless Draugr oh wrong button we have a habit of doing that. Potions of stamina, but nothing uh, health or magic related so far.
another potential puzzle here it looks like along with more Draugr to kill that we need. So we've got whale over there, eagle over here, so I'm assuming this one must be eagle. And whale. Not right? Was it whale? Yeah it was whale. And then we had wonder what the third one is. Ah, snake. Right, hopefully that is correct. to deal with. They're all, are they all restless? At least none of them are white. I'm done with. These ancient Nord arrows, not very really good. Finally got a magic a good magic operation, so that's good at least. Should probably eat actually, I think we're feeling quite hungry aren't we? Salmon steak. then. But he was stood in the one bit where he couldn't get burned.
make sure we don't. Uh, did I, is that what I stepped on then? <laughs> Oops. Make sure we don't get burnt. Butterfly. And we've got wolf, butterfly, dragon. Wolf, butterfly, dragon. I feel like now would probably be a good time to uh, do another save, wouldn't it? In case the uh, dragon priest ruins me. <laughs> These dudes just chilling out. Not um, it's not one that I, I think I ranked this like really low down, didn't I? Was it maybe even the bottom tier in my shout video? It's great at first, like a bit of a novelty, but it's a bit unpredictable. Our oh, magic potion's good. And regeneration. Anything else? Oh, wonderful. Two dragon lights. Right, can I shout them off here? Because I don't really want to deal with them. Come on. That's it, come over here. This one, this is okay. I'm saving a lot here. It's uh, I'm gonna put it down to <laughs> a few little nerves. Now we've got the oh, it's a dragon priest now, isn't it? Who it is a bit of a pain. So do we use our guardian circle? 
just trying to think what is the best. What is the. In fact, I've just realised we're not even wearing a. We're not even wearing one of our amulets. Would Akatosh be better or Talos? Maybe Talos. did not go well. Right, so rushing in, we, know, we now know, is not the way forward. <laughs> right, so we know that rushing in and attacking him with a sword didn't work. So let's try the long range method. Um, we're going to. Potion of resist fire. Does he use fire? No, we'll try it. Potion of truth. We'll, we'll throw it all at him. Dormitory as well. We are literally barely touching him. Oh, we got him. Wow, that was close. If he'd have attacked us at any point, then we would we were we were dead. I don't quite know how we uh, survived that, but we uh, we did. potions left <laughs> you do not feel hunger exhaustion or cold here well that's good at least yeah we do need the clear sky shout here don't we within this mist. Many have braved the shadowed veil, 
But vain is all courage against the peril that guards the way. Who are you? Near Giant's Gap. In the gloom before dawn, we marched unsuspecting into the Imperium's trap. Then we stood and fought, our shield wall defending, until by dawn's light, the Legion's ranks wavered. But I never knew if night's end brought victory, a swift flying arrow to Sovereign Guard carried me. What's this mist? I do not know, but none have passed through. Alduin, his hunger insatiable, hunts the lost souls snared within this shadowed valley. Can you lead the way to where Shore's Hall waits, beckoning us on to welcome long sought? Yes, it's at the far end of the valley here. I saw it fair when first I trod this long sought path. The pain and fear vanished, dreamlike, and a vision beckoned. Shore's Hall, shimmering across the clouded veil, but quenched was hope by the shrouding mist. My mind is darkened. I've lost the way and wander blindly. Hurry, before Alduin your life devours. Bring word to Shores Hall of our hard fate. Beware. Look! There he is, Alduin. Can lead this soldier through, I think, but we have a habit of just kind of standing around and not really going anywhere. Do you know the way? Wander here in Sovngarde, soul's end. Shore's gift to honor dead. Uh, I pursue Aldo in the World Eater. A faithful errand. No few have chafed to face the worm since first he set his soul snare here at Sovngarde's threshold. But Shore restrained our wrathful onslaught. Perhaps deep counseled your doom he foresaw. Uh, I seek entrance to the Hall of Valor. No shade are you as ye the year passes. Living, you dare the land of the dead. By what right do you request entry? Uh, by the right of birth, I am Dragonborn. Um, the more things you've completed, you get more options here, but yeah, because we've only we haven't done anything yet other than this, so. It's been too long since last I faced a doom-driven hero of the Dragonblood. Can I enter the Hall of Valor? Living or dead, by decree of shore, none may pass this perilous bridge till I judge them worthy by the warrior's test. As if I've not done a, uh, got enough to deal with here, I've now got to fight this giant of a man. Who's now killed me, brilliant. Right guys, uh, take two, shall we? Um, yeah, <laughs> we'll try and do a little bit better this time. I think that's the first time he's ever killed me in any of my playthroughs ever, so um, yeah, really glad that that was uh, caught on camera. <laughs> uh, I'm 
just going to equip the uh, clear sky shout again. I don't think you actually have to do this, do you? I think you can just run through it. Uh, we're going to go this way anyway. Um, and not talk to the Stormcloak soldier this time. Yeah, we're just walking through it now and it's um, the mist is disappearing, so... We'll, uh, we'll just try and get our way through. Oh. Is there an Imperial soldier here? can see the uh, Hall of Valor in the distance. Right, take two. Come on soon. Take it easy on me, will ya? Uh, I'm just gonna... Oh no, let's just face him. What brings you, Wayfar? Wander here in Sovngarde. Soul's end. Shore's gift to honor dead. Uh, I seek entrance to the Hall of Valor. No shade are you, as usually here passes. But living, you dare the land. By what right do you request entry? Uh, yeah. Um, I'm trying to think, actually, on previous playthroughs, what I've had here. I think it's all like... I am the leader of the Companions, I'm the leader of the Thieves Guild, I'm the Archmage of the College. I think it's like, the main quest lines isn't it, it kind of mentions. Since last I faced a doom driven hero of the Dragon Can I enter the Hall of Valor? Living or dead, by decree of shore, none may pass this perilous bridge till I judge them worthy. The test. Right, bring it. We uh, got the first hit away. I'm wondering actually if we should use a shout that'll hurt him. Maybe fire breath. Oh yeah, fire. Fire is good. Oh, didn't mean to uh, fall off there. That's not good. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Just uh, try, <laughs> trying to wait for my shout to come back. Oh no, he's going to kill me now, isn't he? Um, oh, we don't have any... Potions. Oh, we did it. You fought well. Find you oh, that was lucky. I thought he was, um, I thought when he raised his axe that he was going to kill us. Right, we can uh, enter the Hall of Valor now and meet with all the heroes of Skyrim. should just um, charge my sword actually while I remember now that we're about to face Alduin and just check we are uh, fully healed. Welcome Dragonborn. Our door has stood empty since Alduin first set his soul snare here. By Shaw's command, we sheathed our blades, and ventured not the Vale's dark mist. But three await your word to loose their fury upon the perilous foe. Gormlaith, the fearless, glad-hearted in battle. Hekon, the valiant, heavy-handed warrior. Feldir, the old, far-seeing and grim. So that is uh, Isgrimor himself. I think there's a few more named heroes here, actually, isn't there? 
Um, a lot of them just say a hero of Southern Guard, but I'm trying to think who else is actually here. Uh, I can't remember now. Who's this dude? Is that uh, that's Jurgen Windcaller, isn't it? Yeah. No gloom can hold my heart for long in Shores Blessfall, where no shadows lie. At long last, Alduin's doom is now ours to seal. Just speak the word. Look at this mead hall. <laughs> mead for days. A cup, Dragonborn, to death and glory. Let us counsel take before battle is blindly joined. Right, we'll uh, we'll chat to the uh, three heroes that are gonna um, help us. Is his shield and cloak, but with four voices joined, our valor combined, we can blast the mist and bring him to battle. Feldia speaks wisdom. These are the uh, three that you saw on the throw of the world in the uh, vision with the scroll. Right, time to do this. Uh, let's just equip Dragon Rend. I don't know why soon doesn't uh, get involved as well, considering he's just kicked my ass. Oh yeah, we don't, um, it's not Dragon Ring we need now, is it? We need Clear Skies first. I forget that you have to uh, clear the mist. The, uh, it takes three times, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, it brings you back one more time. Right, come on, guys, we can do this. Does his strength have no end? Is our struggle in vain? Stand fast! His strength is failing! Once more, and his might will be broken! One more time! And the world eater must face us. Look! Right now to equip Dragon Rend and bring him down. actually take this draft of regeneration um that'll actually be quite good in this fight especially with the uh, meteors wow look at our our sword literally does like no damage at all This is still only on um, adept difficulty, by the way. 
feel like it's made a difference that uh, regen potion already though, to my health. This fight is it's definitely better when there's four of you versus just one. I think we've got anything, any resist fire potions doing now. It's fine though, because we can uh, regen our magicka. battle in Shores Hall forever. But your fate, this was a mighty deed. The doom of Alduin encompassed at last, and cleansed his southern guard of his evil snare. They will sing of this battle in Shores Hall forever. But your fate lies elsewhere. When you have completed your count of days, I may welcome you again with glad friendship Bid you join the blessed feasting. When you are ready to rejoin the living, just bid me so, and I will send you back. I am ready to return to Tamriel. Return now to me, with this rich boon from shore, my lord. A shout to bring a hero from Sovngarde in your hour of need. And now we'll uh, be back on the throat of the world with the uh, dragons. Yeah, we're already feeling the effects of the cold. I think we should probably have this uh, hot soup. Uh, that'll make a, a good bit of difference. It is done. 
no more. He who came before all others and has always been. I have no regrets. Alduin had to be destroyed. Of course. Alduin Wachlandani. I would not have helped you if I thought otherwise. You did what was necessary. Alduin had flown far from the path of right action in his Pachlok, in the arrogance of his power. But I cannot celebrate his fall. Zutiraz Ach Ochma. He was my brother once. This world will never be the same. The world is a better place without Alduin. I am glad you believe that. At least it will continue to exist. Greek close line. Even I cannot see past time's ending to what comes next. Need Korav Zimbinos Ketid. We must do the best we can with this world. But I forget myself. Krosis, Solos Midfadon. Melancholy is an easy trap for a Dover to fall into. You have won a mighty victory, Sahroch Kongrach. One that will echo through all the ages of this world for those who have eyes to see. Savor your triumph, Dovakim. This is not the last of what you will write upon the currents of time. Goran, I feel younger than I have. And with that, we've uh, we've completed the main quest line, guys. So, um, yeah, the uh, end of the first chapter of this Let's Play. I think I'll um, let's just head down the mountain and get uh, somewhere a bit warmer, um, and then I think I will probably. I think we'll probably stop this episode here now. Um, yeah, let's just get down to High Hrothgar at least. Uh, I'm glad I picked up the um, that armor actually, and I'm glad I picked up the perks that we got because I feel like those last couple of battles would have been very difficult without them. It did feel like the difficulty sort of ramped up a bit there. I I don't really remember it that bit being much harder, but it certainly felt it like the uh, that dragon priest was. Uh, I think I got a bit lucky with that fight, um, but yeah, what I'm going to do is I'll um, once I've uploaded this episode, I will put up the um, poll on who, on so you can decide on what which part of the storyline we do next. Um, so yeah, and with that, um, I'm Mike the Gaming Dad, and I will see you next time.